is unusual. There aren't many major sculpture projects of this kind. A sculpture, a new commission, can change perceptions about place. It can actually connect with the past and it can connect with the future. It can act as a beacon. Road, sea, and now rail connect. We're returning life to Ebbsfleet Valley. My name is Mark Davey. I'm standing on the Springhead site uh, at Ebbsfleet. This is the site for the new sculpture for, uh, for Ebbsfleet Valley. I'm a director of uh, Future City. Uh, my involvement in the project is to define a brief. What will the artist be asked to do? How will this work be made? How long do we want the work to be here? Apart from that, I think what the artist has got to do is look at the viewpoints that are here, understand the communities that both new and old, and try to make a work that sort of looks to challenge the environment and the space it's in. It's so hard to look around at what effectively is a blank canvas and see houses and people and parks and children. It's, it's very hard to see that at the moment, but that is what's coming. Uh, Epsweet Valley is a, really a 20 year development project, covers a thousand acres of site. The plan is to deliver 10,000 new homes, up to six million square feet of office space, and up to three million square feet of retail, leisure, community space, schools, doctor surgeries, health centers, community buildings, you name it, really it's the, the creation of a new town in this part of Kent. I'm Adam Cunnington, Development Director from Land Securities, responsible for the delivery of uh, Ebbsfleet Valley, the site we see around us. My name is Tony Hodges. I'm the Chairman of Brand Story, a strategic brand consulting firm. People were returning to Ebbsfleet when they started creating the Channel Tunnel Rail Link, what we now call High Speed One. People were returning to a settlement, an old Anglo-Saxon settlement, as well as a Roman one, as well as a Neolithic one, when they started creating Ebbsfleet Valley again. I really, I mean, the, the railway is the, the catalyst that enables the development to happen. Uh, without the railway and without the connections into London and into Europe, you know, this would be a much smaller scale of project. It wouldn't be the size, the ambition that it is. We're not just putting Ebbsfleet on the map, we're putting Ebbsfleet back on but we're starting with such a blank canvas that what we want to do is to try and get something that really begins to put a market down and say, you know, this isn't a housing estate, it isn't a business park, this is going to be a thriving and flourishing new community. Uh, and the Landmark Project is an opportunity to put that market down and say, we're serious, and here's our first step on that journey. Culture and artists in particular play a key role in enabling people to see different places in very different ways. I'm Victoria Pomery, Director of Turner Contemporary, which is going to be a new gallery based here in Margate. Turner Contemporary is a key driver for the regeneration of Kent and East Kent. My involvement, therefore, with Ebbsfleet is really thinking about how a piece of work, a sculpture, a new commission can change perceptions about place. We've commissioned artists to make work for the public realm and the work on the pier at Margate is by an artist called Norbert Francis Attard. He came to Margate and was inspired by the light. He wanted to make a piece of work that looked back to Turner but also looked at Margate now and hopefully looked forward to what Margate might be in the future. Painting the pier using colours inspired by Turner's palette and the light of Margate is an optimistic reminder of where Margate hopes to be for the future. Kent's a geographically incredibly important point, both as a sort of gateway to Europe across the Channel, but also as a gateway back into London and up to the north. But art and culture isn't something that one necessarily associates with Kent. And often when one does something in a place that is new, people say, oh, what is this? But I think any debate is usually a very healthy thing. I hope initially it will shock people. I hope it will shock them into looking at the environment. My name is Peter Murray and I'm the executive director, you might say the founding director of the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. This was a private park. It was not open to the public. Now, when we started in 1977, we didn't have an audience. Now we get about 350,000 people through here every year. We get 40,000 children coming through. And so 
the point about it is if you make art accessible, you make it powerful, you make it meaningful, then the public will come and they will respond to it. It's terribly important to get the right location, the right artist, and the right mix. Here at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, you can see what we've done with James Terrell. We've converted uh, and refurbished the historic deer shelter. James says, there, there, there's no object, there's only perception. And basically what you do with our sky space is you go in there and you sit and you look at the sky. It's as simple as that. It's the most relaxing, it's the most wonderful visual experience you can possibly have. It's a beautiful fusion of the old and the new together and it works wonderfully in our landscape. It's a matter of really understanding that space and of getting a link between the artistic integrity of the project and the landscape and the architecture and the community. It's got to mean something. It's got to really activate that site and it's got to become part of the history of that site. What this site brings for a sculptor is a series of challenges. So you're, you're surrounded and engulfed by activity and energy. That energy and sound and movement should be, what one would hope, part of the artist's interest in the site. And actually, good artists will find this site very, very attractive. Artists like challenge, and artists will want to explore some of those things. We are not newcomers here. And I sometimes wonder what we will leave behind, what icon, what mark of England's gateway will be most valued in years to come. Yeah, we're not just about putting in a piece of token art and then that's it, we'll move on and it'll be business as usual. This is really a new way of thinking about bringing communities together. Well, I'm hoping this is a catalyst really for, for change and, and for a sort of cultural vision of the area. I think whatever happens at Ebbsfleet, it has to be done in the spirit of wanting to make something that will make a difference for the future. Well, I hope, in fact I know, that what we will end up with is a magnificent piece of sculpture which will mean something, not only to the immediate community and the people who are putting their faith in this, but also to the wider community and to the artistic world in general. Oh, crikey! <laughs>